Luxury cars, they're filled with the finest materials, wood, leather, and carpets nicer than the ones that are in my house. Now, high quality usually means high prices. And if you're like me, you ain't got 100 grand to drop on a new Merc S-Class. So that's why I'm about to show you nine awesome luxury cars that have been hit real hard by depreciation. But real quick, before we get into all of it, if you want something else that's great quality at a great price, check out our Ideal merch so you can buy a cool tee like this and join the Ideal fam. All right, now for our first car on this list, of course, we need to head to a country known for making some of the world's best luxury sedans, as well as the world's best sausages. That's right, we're talking about Germany and Audi's top of the line executive car, the A8L. Now you may look at the Audi from the outside and you may just think it's some sort of boring three box sedan, but as they say, it's what's on the inside that counts true story. And step inside and you're greeted by one of the most beautifully crafted interiors in the industry. And that's when you realize that the original sticker price was over $90,000. Thanks to our good old friend depreciation, you can now pick up a 2017 model for less than half that at around 40 grand. Hey, that's pretty good. And for that, you're not even stuck with the base model. You get 450 horses from the V8 up front, which will get you to very illegal speeds in mere seconds. Or you could just sit in the back and have your chauffeur handle the speeding tickets. Now, in my opinion, the A8 isn't the most exciting car on this list, but with legendary German build quality and quattro all wheel drive, plus a four liter V8, you could do a lot worse for 40K. And yes, the A8 is nice, but if you want, something with a bit more spizzazz. Audi's rival from Stuttgart has you covered. Now the Mercedes S-Class is known for being one of the most luxurious cars money can buy and for being packed with the latest tech because well, it was the first car that had ABS, it was the first with LED lights, and it was even the first to have night vision. Are there any other cars that have night vision? Anyway, the point is that you'll have one of the most comfortable cars on the road with the S-Class and with the coupe model, which is my favorite, you'll also have one of the most stylish. Now, S-Class Coupes can now be found for 60K below their list price, with five-year-old models sitting at around 70 grand. And in my humble opinion, the S-Class Coupe gives you almost anything that you could ever want. It's almost Aston Martin level looks combined with German reliability and a 450 horsepower V8. It's pretty much ideal, but you just don't wanna buy a new one, unless you don't mind losing 12 grand a year. Can you believe that? Yes, $1,000 every single month in appreciation. That's like putting yourself through college without getting a degree. Although some of you would rather have passion and unpredictability. And so if that's you, this next car may fit the bill. You see, the Italians are masters at making gorgeous looking vehicles. You know, the kind that you just really want. And even when building a four-door sedan, they managed to capture the beauty and excitement of a supercar. Even though the Maserati Ghibli has pretty much been unchanged for the last 10 years, it will still break necks going through intersections. The only issue is that, well, it has questionable reliability. I knew it! And so, Nowadays, you can pick one up for around 30 grand. Just remember, well, this car was expensive when new. The original owner had to hand over $76,000 just to drive it off the lot just a few years ago. So thanks to the massive depreciation hit, you can now have a 400 horsepower masterpiece for the price of a new Honda Accord. And the sound it makes is intoxicating. <laughs> So yeah, move over brand new Accord. I'll take the Italian beast and put up with the issues it's got. Can't be too many. I mean, I put up with issues before. Psych! Just make sure that since it has a bunch of issues that you have a mate with a recovery truck on speed dial. And now it's time to move on from Italy to Great Britain, which this is probably the best deal on this list. But before we get to that, if you always find yourself looking for the cheapest cars around, you need to check out the Ideal Car Strategies, where you'll learn how to get seven steps closer to owning your ideal car and not make the same mistakes that I made so that you can make money enjoying your dream car. Click up here or down in the description and take a sneak peek at the full curriculum for free. Now, the Jaguar XJ has always lived in the shadows of its competition from Germany, but if you want a large luxury sedan to drive rather than be driven in, this big Jag deserves your attention. With a low driving position and a responsive V6 engine, the XJ feels smaller than a cat this huge has any right to. Rawr. 
And the best part, you can have all this luxury for the price of a Toyota Corolla. We found multiple XJs listed for under 25 grand. That's over $50,000 less than the original MSRP. And the XJ is a massive luxury sedan for Corolla money. And if your main objective is to make your friends think you're rich, this could be the car for you. Just uh, make sure that you have some cash left over to pay for the inevitable repair bills, because it's not if, but when. When, like, we're moving on to our next car and, you know, moving from Britain to Japan to another luxury sedan, but this one can be had for less than 20 stacks. Yeah, we're talking about the Infiniti Q70. These cars cost upward of 50 grand when new, and now they're regularly found for under 20. Like this one, we found for 19 on Auto Tempest, and you can find all of them on Auto Tempest down below. Because yes, it is cheap, but don't pass this off as just a Nissan with some extra chrome. You get all the luxuries you'd expect from a high-end sedan, and it's rear-wheel drive with 330 ponies under the hood. But don't expect to be pulling huge drifts anytime soon. Still an infinity, remember? For as little as 19 grand, you have yourself a high-end luxury sedan with Japanese build quality. And sure, it's not the most interesting car on this list, but for 30K below its list, brand new, you could use the extra cash to, you know, drop the suspension, throw on massive rims, and have literally the coolest infinity in town. And that sounds like infinity and beyond. Okay, now we're gonna head back to England for another car that has tanked in value in recent years. And this is probably exactly what you think of when somebody says luxury car, a massive sedan covered in chrome with an engine that is as powerful as it is smooth and an interior closer to a private jet than anything you'd usually see on the road. Of course, we're talking about Bentley and the Flying Spur featuring their incredible W12 engine. And these land yachts can now be had for roughly a hundred grand. This 2016 model we found has lost $65 a day in depreciation. I mean, that's better than a full-time job, just the reverse. Now, if you're looking for ultimate luxury, then you need to look no further. After all, there's a reason Bentleys are the transport of choice for everyone from rock stars to royalty. And after looking at the likes of Bentley, Mercedes, and Maserati, you may think Hyundai would look cheap and nasty in comparison, and you'd be right, but their luxury arm, Genesis, just might be worth checking out. The G90 is supposed to rival the BMW 7 Series and the Merc S-Class, and while it can't match the Germans for badge appeal, it gets very, very close on comfort and build quality. If you go for a pre-facelift model with the Rolls-Royce knockoff grille, which I honestly kind of like, even though it's kind of poser-ish, you can pick one up for 30 Gs, and that's 40 grand less than sticker. And like my friend Steve says, it's not about the beauty, it's all about the booty. Oh my. Now the G90 is a steal at 30 grand, but it will never have the same effect as telling someone that you drive an Audi or a Maserati. But if you want one of the best names in the business, our next car, is definitely for you. Brand names don't get much better than Porsche, with everything from true legends like the 911 to what we're talking about today, the Panamera. Porsche is home to the best engineers in the world who are responsible for things like the screaming V10 and the CGT. So when they decide to make a family car, well, you better take notice. And the Panamera is one of the best driving sedans ever made. And while you don't quite get the thrill of the V10, V6 hybrid is one that will still be good for 168 miles per hour on the Audubon. And the best part is that you no longer need to pay close to hundred grand for one. There are now plenty available for around 35,000 bucks. And if you're looking for a deal on a large luxury car and you actually enjoy driving, you won't find anything better than the Panamera. So there we have it, eight luxury cars that were hit hard by depreciation. I know which I'd take. So let us know your favorites in the comments below. Smash the like button, and if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, turn on that notification bell if you're new. Because, well, we want you to join the ideal fam, and remember one thing, keep living the ideal lifestyle.